I started a Minecraft Let's Play series where I'm allowed to code anything I want and you guys loved it. So I decorated a bit, organized chests, and realized, hey, I'm broke. Resource gathering time! But first, I needed to do some enchanting to get better tools, and that just wasn't going well. Oh my god. What? No. That's right gamers, we are in the industrial era now, no more of these primitive pickaxes. We are on to bigger and better things, Mojang would not give us the magic we desired, so we made our own magic on this channel, and let me tell you, I learned a lot doing this project, it tickled my brain in the best possible way. Time for some beta testing. So the tunnel bore actually comes packaged up as an egg, which you can put down and spawn like that. Then if you right click, you can get into the tunnel bore. Now if you were to drive into something, it actually slows down the tunnel bore. Oh, it should. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's not good. That might be our first bug. <laughs> I, I was expecting it to slow down. Uh, okay, now it's slowing down. That's really weird. I'm not sure why it didn't slow me down before, but I am actually so low on iron that I can't even make an Advil. Advil? An anvil. I don't have a headache. Even though that drill is hitting me in the head. <laughs> I need, I need iron. I know what you're thinking. Whimsy, it's so dark in here. And you got those big floodlights. Why don't you turn those on? Well, I got bad news for you. That's just decorative. At least for right now. Perhaps I will change that in the future because I think it'd be really cool to be able to turn those lights on. And to be honest, it'd be a little bit annoying having to get out and then put torches down every couple of blocks or so. So don't worry. That thought has definitely crossed my mind. Okay, besides the lights, pay attention to how much detail went into this. I am super proud of this. I even detailed the inside. Look at that. We got we got an industrial looking uh, control panel type thing with a steering wheel and different pedals. I literally went to Google Images and I copied the layout of a crane. Listen to the sound while I'm idle and listen to the sound when I'm driving. It changes. It's it's very slight, but trust me, it changes. And also, I mean, it definitely changes when you you start drilling into rocks. Ah, uh, yes, so peaceful. And don't forget the billowing smoke. I showed my girlfriend this, and the first thing she said was, "Hey, why don't you make a renewable energy one?" And I think <laughs> it's just fine down here. <laughs> And finally, I have just enough iron to make one anvil. The anvil is important for this data pack because it's the item that you use to turn this back into an egg. Now I'm sure you're thinking, Whimsy, if you didn't have an anvil before, how did you turn it back into an egg? Well, I don't know if I'd call this an exploit, but I designed this so the drill can actually die. And when it does, uh, Okay, there we go. It actually turns back into an egg. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I killed it, I actually got a little bit of experience from it. Not that much, but I was considering removing that. And then I thought, you know, if you beat up tractors all day, you're gonna be pretty buff. So I think lore wise, it kind of makes sense. Enough tunnel bore lore and abandoned mine shaft I will explore. Subscribe for more or your mom's a gonna be disappointed that you're not a whimsy fan. So originally, the way that I would get to the mine shaft was one of these little narrow things and it was super annoying because it was really far away and my skeleton horse, it couldn't fit through. But now, look at how big of a hole that tunnel board dug. It's huge, definitely big enough for a skeleton horse. Whoop. And I even found some, some redstone, some iron, and I think I saw a diamond or two along the way. Oh, there it is. I just want to remember what it feels like to use a pick. Ah, uh, how quaint. Even more diamonds. Oh my god, I was expecting only one because it's kind of on the surface, but that's a big pile of diamonds. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Why did I even make a tunnel bore? I'm 
I'm rich. Oh my god. 1.18. You are beautiful. You know what I think? I think this mine shaft's a little bit too narrow for my taste. Oh yeah. I think now is a perfect time to show you that the drill can also be used as an offensive weapon. Look at that. It grinds not only stone, but also your enemies, which is awesome. Now, I had a nightmare that I would be drilling mindlessly, and I would accidentally hit a spawner, and it would break it. But, I put an exception into the game so that you won't accidentally- <gasps> oh! I swear, I tested this in another world and it worked fine. I even have the spawner line in the undrillable file. It, it, it should be working fine. It works with torches, for example. Okay, look at this. I put down cobbled deep slate, it breaks it. I put down a torch, and then that exclusion works for torches. Why did it have to break my spawner of all possible blocks? That's the worst. Oh my god, what makes it even worse is that it would have been a double spawner. Oh. Stupid tunnel bore. Who coded this thing? Oh, okay, I actually need your help. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, get out! Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize they could actually come in. That's, uh, hmm, interesting. We are... We're, we're learning very many things about you. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> huh. You're not so dumb after all, tunnel bore. So I explored the mine shaft a little bit more, and then I realized I wasn't recording. Oh, right as I finished it. It's okay. It's okay. You didn't miss too much. In fact, I found like one chest, and when I opened it, I was like, wow, glow berries and name tags and other things that are so insignificant, I might as well not even see it at all. There you go, now you're caught up. So I was the one who coded this, and obviously I know how it works. I know how to use it, and I know all of its quirks. But obviously, there are going to be some people who don't use it for its intended purpose, which is why we not only try to get it to work, but we try to break it as well. And I just know that somebody out there is going to try to use it for agriculture. So let's get this out of the way and see how it works. You know, actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Hey, not bad, not bad. So what if that same person decided, gee, tunnel borer, you just spent the whole day out in the fields. I think you deserve to go for a swim. What's gonna happen? I actually have not put this in water yet, so I don't know. Oh my god, I'm desynced. Oh. Oh. I hit the cliff on the way down. Look how tiny this thing is. I can't believe I hit it. Oh mama, there are a lot of mobs over there. I think you know what that means. Okay. There's a lot of mobs down there. Oh. Uh, get him! Get him! Get out of me! Huh. Okay, it's doing pretty good, actually. I'm a little bit worried about that creeper. That creeper is my biggest concern. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, we got it. It's actually doing so good. Get over here. <laughs> Victory dance! Yeah, bet you didn't realize this baby has hydraulics, did ya? And since you made it so late into the video, I'm gonna share with you a little easter egg that I will never ever mention again in another video, ever. So, you and me, we have a little secret. And that secret is, this tunnel bore can actually turn into a motorcycle. If you, if you look at the front wheel and you right click, uh, ah, look at that. It's uh, <laughs> you might not think of it as a motorcycle, but by definition, a motorcycle is a two wheeled vehicle that is powered by a motor and has no pedals. So, <laughs> I only see two wheels. <laughs> yep. Feature, not bug. 
In fact, I wonder what else I can dismantle on this thing. Can I get the drill? Okay, I got one of the drill pieces. Okay, I'm slowly dismantling it. Oh, okay, it's still there. I want that big drill. How do I get that? Aha! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> it looks so big. But now nobody will mess with me. I mean, it looks like a lance. In fact, I wonder. <laughs> Look at it in the item bar, it's so big! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, nobody will mess with me now. Hmm, what else can I take away? Who coded this thing? <laughs> oh man. It technically still works. I I consider this a win, personally. Oh my god, it actually looks really cool in the inventory. I wonder, can I do... Oh, it works, baby! Look at that! <laughs> oh man, you know the drill. Press that subscribe button. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not think this episode would go this way. And I'm sure if you've never made data packs before, you must be really confused. Heck, I'm confused and I made this thing. I love I love that I can actually still still see things with this. I'm looking at you cows. You don't want to get drilled, do you? Wait a minute. I totally forgot that I wanted to see how this fares in the water. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, it's not sinking anymore. It is making that sound continuously. Not exactly what I expected to happen, to be honest. Okay, so you look at this tunnel bore and you see one coherent entity, right? Well, in reality, this is actually like seven different things combined into one. Things are gonna get even more weird when I turn off this texture pack. Everything you see is actually just retextured iron nuggets. This is actually a couple armor stands, a mule, and a villager. It's all very complicated. I'm not going to get into the specifics of how it works, but I thought it would be interesting for me to just pull back the curtain a little bit so that you can see the actual insanity that goes on with making these data packs. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, I'm out of control! Quickly, the, the off button for the drill, it has the word subscribe on it. Click to save the animals. He's a magical blacksmith from lands unknown. He's your favorite data packet ice cream cone. You might ask yourself, who is he? It's Whimsy.